So here's some lures I use to catch tiger trout. One of the most effective thing is spinners. This here is a 1-6 uh, rooster tail silver. This is a size 4 Panther Martin gold. Another thing that's effective is spoons. This here is a gold cast master. But something like an Owl's goldfish or a Phoebe would work just as well. This is a little bit more unusual. These are uh, Tasmanian Devil Lures or Tazzy Lures. This this one here is actually the one I got my first tiger trout on. How they work is there's little um, treble hooks in there with beads that are used as stoppers. A lot of times when uh, fish become a little bit more spooky, these can be uh, really effective. What's notable about these spinners is they're these and lures in general is they're a little bit bigger than what I normally use for trout. But tiger trout are really aggressive and they'll hit anything shiny in the water, no problem. Here I'm fishing with the Panther Martin. The important thing about this type of fishing is to stay mobile. Try one spot and give it four or five casts before going on to the next spot. The Massachusetts website will say where these fish were stocked. Here they're almost exclusively placed in lakes and ponds. They can be caught while bay fishing, but because of their aggressive nature, they're more prone to hit lures. This spot looked good because it's where a creek fed into the pond. Unfortunately, I only caught a little chain pickerel. After no luck at the first pond, I move to the next. This pond is often more productive, and I've caught tigers here in the past. What I didn't know was rainbows had been stocked earlier in the day. Although any kind of trout will hit these lures, tiger trout are more likely to take. Unfortunately, in my state, tigers are often a rare bonus fish, but persistence will pay off. At the end of the video, it's tiger trout I caught this year on a gold rooster tail. Mm -hmm.
Oh, it's a brookie. Wow. <laughs> didn't expect that. Take a picture of that one. Oh, wow. 